All right, guys, let's drive the car. Here is the car. By the way, I will make a separate video today with a light. So if you want to see the lights in the nighttime, interior, exterior, cockpit, ambient light, everything about the lights on the new Honda Civic, you will find out next days on the channel. I will have a separate video. If you want to see the full review, I already have a full review with the car, technical data, all the information. You find it already on the channel, so check it out. And also the test drive in the daytime, you will find it on the channel. This video, it's only test drive in the nighttime. Many of you ask me about it and here we are. Lights are super nice. I mean, the design is great. Even though in the back here, I wish they put also for the turning signals, also LED light, like it's the tail light. But I like the fact that the LED light plate in the back, it's with LED, it's not a normal bulb. Also, the lights in the front are phenomenal. Check out that video. In terms of lights, you will see there. Let's go inside because it's super cold outside. Also, great LED light inside the car. You have a great ambient light when you go inside here. I will leave the key here. Let me put the seat belt. Very good quality also the seat belt. It feels quite nice. Also great center console. We have this shift by wire transmission where you can change different driving modes. You have electronic handbrake auto hold. From here you change different driving modes by the way. Press the brake, aluminum pedals, start engine button. Right now the engine is on, the system is on. It comes with new digital uh, cockpit. You can see how nice animation it's in the front there. When you press the brake, you can see even the light on the car or the turning signals, they are turning on on that nice uh, graphic there of the car. Here you have, as you see before, LED lights inside the cabin. And you can see also it's a nice ambient. It's a pleasant ambient. All these buttons are easy to, to reach out. A different driving mode. We have kind of three different driving mode. Eco mode, normal mode, sport mode and individual. You can do it the way you want it. We will leave it. We will drive in eco first of all. Then we have here electronic handbrake, auto hold and here parking, reverse, neutral and drive. If you go in reverse it has also reverse camera so you can see in the reverse also sensors four parking sensors in the front for in the back electronic handbrake auto hold and here you have a wireless a place for for your phone and i love this climatic system it's so easy to reach out physical buttons it looks so expensive and so fancy love the way it looks also we have the screen here with the navigation easy to reach out easy to change different things here i will also set it up a little bit later but i don't want to bother me when i talk and you will see also as we go forward the ambient light here before we go forward i want to give you some technical data because you will ask me about it more infos already on the channel on this video i have a video with full review with the same car if you are in Switzerland, check out Honda Blunier in Bern. I will leave the link in the description of the video so you can see the car, buy the car, test drive the car if you want, guys. Also, this is the advanced version. $42,600 cost this car that I have with me. Two liter petrol engine is this hybrid system. Super, super nice system. 184 horsepower, 315 Newton meters. It's a front wheel drive system. Consumption around 5.1 liter. CO2 emission 115 grams. Uh, 0 to 108.1 seconds uh, what more 11.6 meter the turning circle fuel tank capacity 40 liters trunk 404 liters if you fall down 1187 those are the information for more details check out this video i already have it on the channel guys ah by the way let me go to home let me go to trip where is the trip here i will reset the trip for you where is the trip here trip b i already reset it look at this everything is resetted let's drive it and let's see the consumption i'm super excited about that also you can see it on the screen there i want to put that app customize back phone where is that i'm not sure apps ah this is for the phone i don't think you can see it here show and hide phone what you like to see no it's not here audio and clock no 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 anyway let's drive it let's leave it like that let's drive it guys first of all right now the engine is on let's put it in drive you can see it has a very nice light here when you press the the drive or parking it's red and drive it's uh, green it's quite nice and let's drive it let me close this light here we have also on the roof this glass roof but more about that you can check out the other video now let's drive it guys 
we will see also the consumption going reverse you can see also the reverse camera there and drive oh I'm excited I like the lights if you look at the LED lights oh you can see the the street very nice and very clear it's quite you can also wow turn on the, the high bin it's super strong because it comes with look at this it comes with this new uh, kind of matrix LED light in the front they look super nice also very nice ambient light I love this kind of whitish color it looks great and also I like the color on the on the on the climatic system this ambient light it's nice behind the steering wheel it's nice it's a white it's a nice white pleasant color it's kind of relaxing we have this CVT transmission that it's just one gear speed so you don't have to worry about that we still have some battery by the way let me show you the energy flow this is this is a great great um, view right here it shows you also the consumption it shows you also what happened with the energy and how much range we have and how much battery we have we have very less battery like three three lines there so cool over the bumps here you can test out the light oh my god the high beam it's incredible let me test it one more time ah look at the cornering light someone asked me you can see when you take the curve and you drive the car then the lights on the side will turn on look at the, look at the high beam it's crazy it's it's really really good i mean it illuminates all the all the ground that's that's super nice okay let's go back to the road um really nice and I, I love those new lights they are they are top notch better than in my um tesla model 3 they are they are good the high beam the low beam it's they are great also the steering wheel feel great quality over the bumps here are a lot of bumps and the car feel nice and it's kind of great setup it's it's not that comfortable setup it's more like a sporty sporty comfortable setup for the suspension so they, they feel nice also the the seats feel nice and very comfortable i feel like i like i'm home i feel like i'm coming home driving this car <laughs> i don't know if you know that feeling when you take the foot off the acceleration the car will regenerate back the energy you can see right here in the battery the engine the petrol engine it's on right now but you can you barely hear it guys you don't feel any vibration inside from the engine you don't hear it you 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 don't know right now I hear it but some at some point you don't know if the electric motor is working or the engine is on. You don't know when the, the, the petrol engine is on. You don't even feel it. It's just phew, gorgeous, gorgeous system. Great on those curves. It stays super, super good. Wow, it feels, it feels. feels super nice it's nimble uh, we are in echo mode right now it, it's super stable it stays really good on the road so it has great stability I don't know how they manage to, to set up the suspensions, but they are really good. You can see the high bin. Now the battery has an extra, extra line here. So it's charging while we drive. We have 8.5 liter consumption until now. 
we are in echo mode you can change different driving modes very simple from from down here also wow Super time, super nice, super nice. So the cornering lights, it's running when you turn the, the steering wheel on the left or right, then it will turn on those lights on the side that I show you in the live video. It's crazy silent, it's, it's like you have an electric car in a petrol car. Wow, in the turning circle, it's it's gorgeous. It's drive like an electric car. You hear a little bit the engine when you when you accelerate, but just a little bit you hear it. But the way it feels, it's like an electric car. So if you want an electric car with a petrol engine, this is the perfect one, I should say, <laughs> to get. Anyway, let's have some fun in sport mode. You can see the high beam, perfect. Wow, boy oh boy, it stays really nice on the road. The high bin are phenomenal and also the low bin, the lights are great, 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 great. By the way, um, I want to show you also the cruise control, guys. I show you also in the other video, but I still want to show you today. Right now, we set the speed to 79, 80 km per hour. I want to activate the lane assist. You will see immediately when the lane assist is activated, you will see that green lanes there. I think you can see it on the cockpit. And right now the, the car is driving itself. Actually, it's hold the speed. Ah, by the way, the climatic system is on right now on 22 degrees. Uh, also, it's warning you from time to time to keep your hand on the steering wheel. But even if it's nighttime right now, it's doing a great job. It stays between the lanes just perfectly. The consumption 7.6 liters, still range 573 kilometers. Boy, oh boy, I like the car. If I will ever think about changing my car with a petrol car, hybrid car, if I will ever change my mind of driving electric cars, I will definitely think about this Honda Civic. I think I can get some amazing consumption out of the car. Really, I think that. Look at this, it's just driving itself. I tell you, I tell you in the live video that the, the, the autopilot, it's really good. Look how, how it's doing itself. Look at the battery, it's almost full again. We still have two lines left to charge, but the battery, it's almost full. The consumption 7.6 and the climatic system it's on. Let's go slowly here. Let's take the control. Incredible. Look at look at this. It's hold between the lanes. <laughs> look at this. Really good. And it's nighttime. Wow. The sensors are, are really good. Always never trust autopilot no matter what car you drive. Keep your hand on the steering wheel. Always, but yeah, it's it's good blind spot in the corner good visibility in the mirrors nothing to say about the car I like it
I tell you, I like the car. I will shut up for a second. Wow. You have enough power, guys, trust me. Some of you ask me, you have enough power from 120 or... I feel like you have, yeah. I feel like from 90, 100, it still have a lot of power to show. Uh, when you press the acceleration, I'm sure from 120 you still have some power left in it. I don't think this car in this version it's made for sporty driving. I think it's more for economy, but this is I, I can say this car is between comfort and sportiness. It's placed there between comfort and sportiness and I think the the Civic Type R the next one will be a proper sporty car that will be just phenomenal so I'm really looking forward for that car um, and this one I think it's a great all-arounder I think it's a great daily driver car and I think if you would buy this one you will not go wrong you will not get wrong at all this is this is what I think and the battery is almost full how cool is that seven liter consumption uh, look at this it's, it's hold between the lanes even now gorgeous car I mean guys I like it it's relatively silent inside indeed indeed uh, some of you tell me about the, the glass roof that it might you might hear a little bit of noise but is, is barely notice it and with I, I drive without the music and it's not the sound insulation it's good I mean it's really good it's like an electric car you hear a little bit of noise from road from wind but this is normal many people complain on electric cars on Tesla for example from noise but if you play a little bit of music you don't hear nothing it's great over the 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 turning radius it's it's phenomenal trust me it, it feels great wow it stays really good on the road the brakes are awesome no boy it's it's i can't explain you the feeling You feel the quality inside this car. You feel like it's a special car. It stays good on the road. It has great stability. I really like it. Uh, let me take this out. I really like how it feels on the road. It's it's so unique, this feeling. I, I, I have to tell you, not many cars have this feeling added to it. In the same time, it's quite comfortable, but it has also that amazing stability and uh, handlings turning around yeah it's nice it's nice the feeling it's great driving this car it's it's lovely and look at this 6.4 liter consumption and the battery it's full right now 569 still range what do you want more than that high bin low bin it's perfect car it's it's really perfect car wow wow it's good surprisingly even though it's a front wheel drive no no spinning no wheel spinning And wow, the, the engine is so silent. How can they do that? The Toyota ones, the CVT from Toyota, they are a little bit more noisier. Phenomenal. Boy, it's, it's, it's crazy. The car, it's crazy. The pedals are great. The, the brakes, if you look at the brakes, you say, mm, yeah, they are normal brakes. But when you go inside the car, you press the pedal, the car is braking in a big way. I feel like I have some special brakes on it. I don't know why. 
Splendid, splendid, guys, great job. Yeah, you feel like electric car. If you don't hear the, the if you if you don't hear the noise from the engine, if you don't want to hear it, if you play music, you don't hear it, and you will feel like you're in an electric car. I think that was, I think this car is the perfect transition between IC cars and electric cars. I think all the, we we kind of rush with the electric cars but that will that would be the perfect transition this one here if you don't want to go electric now and you still want to drive economical these days this is the one this is the one for you and not only this one but hrv also all the honda jazz as well it's great lovely car so honda makes some super nice car I'm, I'm totally surprised I have to tell you guys a few years ago I was not like into Hondas but trust me after you go into the auto things and you drive so many cars you will understand what a good car is but you have to test it you have to drive it you have to feel it you have to be there look at this look how good is doing the, the autopilot i drive so many expensive cars from other expensive uh brands they don't do so good this 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 one was really hard this is a really hard for autopilot it's struggling it was struggling a little bit now it's going good yeah 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 it's a little bit struggling here it's, it's not an easy one but still it's doing fantastic I can get used with this car so Honda if you want to be my sponsor if you let me drive this car every day you don't have to give it to me I will I promise I will have your brand all over my videos I want this car really I want it I, I I'm willing to give up my Tesla Model 3 for this one <laughs> so yeah anyway great car guys really great car nice ambient light inside here yeah probably because there's no music that's why I hear the noise from the road and probably from up here if I close this this window up there maybe will be much silent no it's the same but it's, it's not this barely hear something because it's the same as in my uh, Tesla Model 3 it's kind of the same kind of the same uh, noise oh yeah baby nervous car really really nice let's go back to eco mode this is normal mode and let's go to eco slowly steady economical the way I like this is the way I like to drive the the seats are super super nice I love the seat they are super comfortable really nice really comfy down here <laughs> steering wheel great grip easy to steer easy to control the car easy to see different things in the in the mirrors here it's a car we have to slow down a little bit I don't know what happened it's broke too bad if you buy <laughs> I think if you buy this Honda that will never happen to you because they are super reliable so don't they they don't let you on the highway we have almost a full battery it's so easy to control incredible easy it's nimble it's it's stable I don't I'm I 
totally don't want to make advertising for it but it, it's good I mean now I now I remember why my father had a Honda or like the Hondas or want to buy a Honda and I was like oh what <laughs> I think 10 15 years ago I was like oh why Honda mm, I don't know Volkswagen or <laughs> Audi BMW, BMW Mercedes but yes, why Honda but now guys after you drive it you will understand and forty two thousand dollars oh good price good price for what it offers now I know why people drive Honda they are good they are, they are good cars now I want to park it here because I want to make the video with the light that will come next days on the channel um, and of course you can see the lights right now if you turn look 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 the corners the corner light if you go left let me see if I can catch it on the camera put it in park let me see if it's on right now and then I will end look 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 it's on I find it on look at this guys this is the cornering light right here and it's turn it on only when you take the curve you can see the wheel and you can see it's kind of seeing on the right left side here it's a great great system I like it very much and if you look on the other side it's off it's completely off so this is what I'm talking about oh, let's see the consumption and then this video is about a test drive not about lights I was really curious consumption 6.1 liter uh, and we have the battery full and we still have 500 563 kilometers range the great part is that we didn't drive economic at all I think you can get I think I can get with this car 3.5 liter every day daily driver every day work and home let me turn on the light so you can see me better that was the video guys amazing I hope I cover everything too bad I cannot drive too fast here in Switzerland at least the tickets are super expensive that was the video I love the car it's crazy good the seats are awesome the feeling here inside the car while you're driving it's it's unique you have to test it anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see the full review I have a separate video check it out it's already on the channel if you have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check out here Blunier uh, garage Honda in Bern I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out uh, link will be down there they are super nice and they have also great price this car for example is 42,000 with this beautiful panoramic glass roof and a lot of safety features also by the way it comes with a new cockpit and with a new uh, LED lights and matrix LED lights for high beam by the way look at the high beam this is the kind of matrix they look super nice on the road you see it before anyway that was the video rating for this car from 1 to 10 9.9 .9. great car good price it's one of my favorite engine hybrid system engine that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe check out the test drive on the daytime check out the full review and i see you soon in the next one love you guys bye